You guys have asked for it and you wanted to know what my recommendations are for dark romances, so I hope that you strap in and you're ready to hear about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I cannot wait to go over these dark romances, but before we get into it, please always remember to like and subscribe. Check my description box below for all of my links to my Pango Books account, my Patreon, my Bookish Box Ambassador link, and so much more. So before we get into this as well, I want to make a disclaimer. I am not going to tell you what trigger warnings are in these books, please definitely look up trigger warnings before you go into any of these books. There are some that are extremely dark. They have a lot of trigger warnings that you may not feel comfortable about reading. Please know that going into this because I don't want you to pick up a book and it not be the right fit for you, it be too dark, or anything like that. I don't want anyone to have any trigger warning problems because you need to enjoy the books and I always want people to love dark romance but just know that these are very unhinged very dark and you definitely need to check them out I'm gonna start off with books that I don't physically own at the moment so the first one that I do suggest is Church by KG Roos I know that I just talked about this in my wrap-up and I did talk about it in my favorite book so far of 2024 but again if you didn't watch any of those videos this is a very dark why choose romance where our girl from page one is nearly killed she decides not to communicate anymore not that she can't she just chooses not to her stepfather tries to beat the demons out of her finds that it's not working so he just sends her off to this religious school that is also an asylum which she ends up meeting the watchers which is for boys who basically run the school they are unhinged they are psychotic they do awful things. They have their sights set on our girl and it just goes from there. It is a why choose romance. It definitely has so many dark themes but the plot, everything about it is so good. The spice level is great. The spice on page is amazing. I loved this so much. I'm not going to talk about it much because I did just go more in depth in my wrap up so you can go re go watch that video if you would like to but I highly suggest Church which is book one in the Chapel Crest series. The next one that I highly, highly, highly suggest is Kiss by Shadows by Rosa Lee. This is again another why choose romance, but it is in a mafia setting. It is very unhinged as well because it deals with our girl being sold to the Russian mafia. Her best friend that she grew up with is helping her escape, takes her to the shadows, and everything goes from there. I also did just talk about this in my wrap up, so if you want more thoughts definitely head back on over to that video but this is extremely dark extremely good I loved the spice the plot everything about it I cannot wait for the second book to come out it is so good I feel like the dynamic of all of the guys in this are drastically different but they work so well in this plot setting with our girl the next one that I want to recommend is the Zodiac Queen series by Gemma James. You can read them all individually, which starts with Aries, and they're like little novellas, maybe a hundred pages, maybe a little more. Or you can read them in seasons, where the first one is like the first three Zodiac signs, season two is the next three, and so on. I am currently waiting for season four to come out later this year that will wrap up all the Zodiac boys. I don't know if it is going to have another book or if four is going to be the end but this is really good because our girl is like the princess of her area she is sent to zodiac island where they kind of had a bargain and she is supposed to spend every month in that zodiac sign with that zodiac guy they are ruthless they are brutal there's a lot of spice they basically do whatever they want to this girl and so there's like a lot of non-consensual things that happen but the romance the guy that is like the main romantic focal point is so good 
I honestly cannot wait to get to the next one because I know there's going to be an auction. I really hope that this guy ends up winning the auction to have her, but I, I ate these books up. The next one that I want to recommend is the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey. This is five books that are novellas that are all compiled into one book. Book. It is so good. It's a standalone. Our girl is a serial killer and she has a reason. I mean, obviously an unhinged reason, but she has a reason for why she's doing what she's doing. And in enters our male love interest who is like the FBI agent that is sent to like track her down. It's a romance between them two. And I'm going to tell you guys, I did not expect the ending to be the way that it was because I was like, girl, how are you going to get out of this? Like this FBI agent that you are romantically involved with, that you are spicing it up with is out to get you and if he knows who you are you're going to jail and it's dark it's unhinged it's so good i absolutely loved it and the plot twist at the very end of the book really had me totally loving this book as a whole because i was like wow i did not expect that to happen Another one that I highly suggest is the Condemned series by Gemma James. The first book being Torrent. I do want to say this is extremely dark as well because it deals with non-consensual sex. It deals with a lot of bad things things. This is probably the most unhinged book that I am probably recommending. So if you are like really accustomed to dark romances and you don't really have a lot of trigger warnings, this would be a great series for you. It's entirely unhinged. I don't even know the best way to describe it. But our girl basically sent a guy to prison under false accusation. You don't know why, but her stepbrother has basically been forcing himself on her for years. She never can get away from him. She's terrified of basically being killed by him. All of a sudden, the guy that she had sent to prison gets out, kidnaps her, chains her up in the basement, and forces himself on her as well. So it is extremely dark. It has an amazing storyline, and the romance that does develop in this book is absolutely great. I absolutely love Jim, Gemma James's writing. I love everything about what she has done in this series. If you don't have any trigger warnings, I highly suggest checking out this series because it's extremely dark but extremely good. The next one I want to recommend is The Never King by Nikki St. Crow. This is an extremely dark romance. It's kind of like a Peter Pan reimagining. I know this isn't a contemporary romance. I know that it deals with like a lot of fantastical things but it is extremely good. They they are like in novella length so they are extremely quick to get through. If you like the thought of being like whisked away to Neverland and having a why choose romance that is extremely dark and gritty, this is a great series. I didn't think that I was going to love it as much as I did. The next one is something that came completely out of nowhere. I didn't think that I was going to love it as much as I did because I still think about this book to this day. This was a book that I read back in March and boy was it a ride and that is Fabric of Our Souls by K.M. Moranova. It has just been picked up to be traditionally published so this is the indie version. I loved this book. For the first 60 to 70 pages, I was texting my cousin being like, what am I reading? What did you suggest for me? Because I wasn't really into it. But it took a turn where it went from a dark romance into a thriller, a mystery, a horror, I guess. It, it was all over the place. A lot of genres in here. But basically, our girl um, tried to unalive herself. So she is sent to an asylum and she ends up having to bunk with this guy. It's like a co-ed type asylum. So he is unhinged, okay? There is something with our guy. We don't know what's happening, but they just get closer and closer together. She becomes best friends with this other guy in the asylum. So all three of them kind of are like a found family aspect. This book took a turn like I said, into like a mystery thriller whenever they start playing a game about what had happened previously in the asylum. I'm telling you what, 
I'm telling you what, if you get to the corn maze, I was shook whenever we got to that point. My jaw was on the floor. I was like, okay, this is what we're doing. By the end of it, I was sobbing. It had me in a chokehold. I couldn't believe it ended the way that it did, but it was still beautifully done. So definitely check this out if you know you want kind of a dark romance asylum with a lot of mystery and thriller aspects. The final book that I have to recommend for you is one that I recommend all of the time because it is my absolute favorite dark romance so far and that is The Losers Duet by Harley LaRue. You have The Dare which is a novella which I highly suggest reading before you get into the duet because it's not going to make sense to you if you don't. It's like a 120 page, page duet that just kind of gets you familiar with the characters and why they're in the situation they are. Then you have Losers Part 1 and then Losers Part 2. This is a why choose romance. It is extremely dark. It has a lot of trigger warnings in the novella just in itself. But I'm going to tell you what, you guys. This book, these guys everything about it. I wish that I knew them as my friends. I wish that I could go hang out with them because I love them so, so much. But in the dare, you start out where you're at a Halloween party six months after they graduate high school. You have our girl who was like the popular girl, the one that everybody wanted to be with. And then you have Manson Reed, who was part of the losers group where people picked on them, they bullied them, all of these things. But she always was nice to them. She always befriended, befriended Manson because he, I think, was her neighbor honestly. And she ends up getting into kind of a competition with him where they make a deal. If she wins at beer pong, then she can tell him what to do or whatever. But if he wins, then she has to do anything he says for the whole night. Our girl ends up losing. She ends up having to crawl and kiss his boots there is degradation in here. There is, you know, a lot of kinks and trigger warnings. So definitely head on over to Harley LaRue's website to check those out before you get into it. If you're okay with what you read, with what you read on her website, you will not be disappointed with this duet, but definitely start with the dare first. All right, you guys, those are all of the books that I have for dark romance recommendations. I could have done the normal HD Carlton ones and things like that, but y'all have already heard those, right? You don't need me to tell you about them. So I wanted to give you some that you may not have heard of. Maybe you have only heard me briefly talk about them, but didn't know what they were about. These are ones that I highly suggest. There are some that are not as unhinged all the way to the most unhinged I've ever read which would be the Condemned series by Gemma James. I absolutely adore all of these dark romances. I can't read a whole lot of them back to back because that is just too much dark in my life but I do like to go to a dark romance every once in a while. It's like a palette cleanser for me to get from the fantasy world and things because I don't do a whole lot of books that are light and fluffy and clean romances. I just, they're not my vibe. I need spice. <laughs> I'm a spicy romance girly. So definitely let me know in the comments below. Are there any books in here that you are now going to be picking up after hearing about them? And definitely if you want to let me know that you are still here, leave me a knife emoji for the thrillery aspect of fabric of our souls. But I hope you all enjoyed this recommendation video. Let me know below if there's any other recommendations you would like to do. So far, I have done a fantasy romance and a dark romance recommendations video. I am happy to do whatever you would like. But until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great day. Bye!